Welcome back, Fantasy Fiction Fanatics. It's great to see you again, and I hope you're doing well. Today I thought it would be fun to do kind of an author series comparison uh, for Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman's books. So I have read uh, three series from them. I've read the Dragonland series, I've read the Dark Sword series, and I've read their Deathgate Cycle series. So I just thought it'd be kind of fun to talk with you guys about how I feel comparing the different series as well as maybe letting you know one that would be interesting to you if you have not read all three of their series. They do have some other series like I really want to try out their Dragon Ship series but I haven't read that one yet um, but they do have uh, lots of series together so um, hopefully the, comparing these three might make you feel like maybe it's good to try more of their series, whether it's one of these three or something I haven't read yet. Um, or maybe you can let me know what you think about their different series and what you think is good, bad, the same, whatever you'd like to say about comparing the different series if you've read multiple. If you like this comparison, please give me a thumbs up or a like. It really does help out my channel as well as if you're not part of the Fantasy Fiction Fanatics community, it would be great if you joined and subscribed. We would love to have you and I have plenty of content that comes out every week for you to enjoy, so hopefully you will look forward to that as well. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in. So just take a note before I get going on the actual content here. I know I said let's get going and then now I'm like backtracking, but I just thought I should warn you that there might be potential spoilers between these different series. Um, I don't plan on making any big spoilers, but there might be some little things as I'm comparing them. Obviously, I'm going to talk about each of them. So if you don't want any spoilers at all or any mentions about what goes on in these other series, you might not enjoy this uh, video as much. You might want to read them and then come back and see my comparison. But if you don't mind, then go ahead and keep watching. So first things first is the writing style. I think that's always um, kind of the base point to do a, for a comparison is what is the writing style. Now because this is the same two authors for each series, it's a little bit more um, moot of like what the writing style is about, but some authors do change the writing style or do change how they write certain things. So I thought it'd be good to do the comparison of whether their writing style is consistent throughout these different series, especially as an author who might write stories at different times in their writing career. Maybe their writing gets better, maybe their writing worsens, maybe something like that happens and uh, might affect how good the series is or not. Um, I think that Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman's writing style is always excellent. I have never read a book where I'm just like, that writing style is just crappy, or the way that they're writing something or structuring the story just doesn't work. Um, so I would say between all three of these series that I've read, the writing style is excellent. Um, that it is pretty much even on all accounts. I don't know uh, any of them being like, oh, this is much more uh, good or much worse. Um, they do really keep to that third person omniscient style, so it's never too close to the characters. It's more of a back uh, further up from a narrator that's watching these events and explaining what's going on between the different characters and the different uh, plot points that are kind of intersecting each other. Um, but their style in general is always very clear, descriptive, but it's not heavy or, you know, too in-depth and too description and gets weighed down. Instead, it's more of a light, clear, descriptive, um, and really invests in the characters as well. So it has a good balance of everything, even though it's not close in with the characters or one character in particular. It's more of a narrator that is narrating something. Um, now, for the stories themselves, um, let's go ahead and talk about how they compare. Um, I think, in general, something I really appreciate about Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman is the stories are all extremely different. It's not like you read Dragonlance and then you read Dark Sword and you're like, this is the same story over again. <laughs> or you're like, oh yeah, this happened in, uh, in Dragonlance and now we're having that happen again in Dark Sword. So, of course, 
there might be some parallels in uh, some characters, like I will say um, two of the series, um, Deathgate Cycle and Dragonlance, both have Fizbin in it, or at least it seems like in Deathgate Cycle that's likely to be Fizbin again there. Um, and Dark Sword series does have a character that is similar to Fizbin in mannerism and how he acts, but besides that, I feel like the actual concept of the story and the base things that are going on are very different. It's more of a homage to the other series than it is a, this is exactly the same thing. Um, it is all the same kind of um, structure to the story and the fact that it has multiple locations with multiple characters doing something and it's a little bit more complicated. Like, you know, in Dragonlance we've got the originally the party that starts off by themselves, but we see occasionally um, other bad characters and that's going on with them. Um, and then when the party splits, we've got, you know, sometimes we're talking about this part of the party, we talk about this part of the group, um, and they're in different places doing different things. So we've got kind of two or three little plot lines that are all converging together. And that's the same thing with like Dark Sword and the Deathgate Cycle is we've got all these different little areas and all these different things going on that all combine into one story that is important towards the main goal or main concept of the story. Um, so they are definitely good at a little bit more complicated, a little bit more um, built throughout the world of what's going on. Um, I would say that the world level of the conflicts and the outcomes are also pretty different. Well, actually, I would I would take that back. I think they're pretty much the same. Now that I think about it for a second, I'm like, mm, they're pretty much the same. Is all their stories do revolve around something that's like big, worldly based conflicts. It's not like our main character has a conflict that's just in their little surrounding area or that's mostly related to them and what's going on with them. Each of their series does relate to a conflict that is world affecting. Dragonlance, you know, especially in the original trilogy, has, you know, going against Takisis, who's trying to come into the world and take over. Then we've got um, Deathgate Cycle, which has, you know, this world that's been broken apart and this character that's trying to take advantage of the fact that this broken world is broken. And then we've got Dark Sword series, which ends up being um, about a kid who is going to affect the entirety of the world. I'm going to put it like that, just so I don't get too big in the spoilers. Um, so all, at least all three of these stories do have conflicts that are related to the world as a whole and very big level conflicts. So they don't have small conflicts, at least in this, uh, their series. So their stories in general are very different in concept, in world, in magic, in uh, characters for the most part. But they do kind of keep to this more broader world defying conflicts that are very big and very epic stories, I would say. Um, now, as far as their series length, that's a little bit more variable. I would say Deathgate Cycles is the one that's like the most, the largest in terms of a full story largest amount, I think. Don't quote me, I might be wrong. It's been a while since I've looked at them. I think it's six books in Deathgate Cycle. I think <laughs> I'll double check that and let you know. Um, but that one is like a full story, like throughout the six books. For the um, Dark Sword trilogy, again, it has trilogy in the name, and there's technically three stories or three books for the actual main story. There is one that happens kind of extra. Uh, as a fourth book, but it's not really necessary to read that one to understand the actual story that they were trying to tell. And then Dragonlance, technically you'd be like, well, that one's super huge because there's so many books for them in that one, but they are broken down into trilogies for like, if you want to just stop at the end of three books, you can stop. Like the first three, you can stop at the end of that. That's the main conflict is done. So that one's kind of like 
it's long and yet short at the same time because they have breaks in between where you can stop if you're not interested in reading more or if you want to break and want to come back. So I would say the series lengths are variable. It's not like a set in stone. This Their series are generally this length. Um, some have stopping points, some do not. Um, and then last but not least, the quality, overall quality of the books. I would say all of their books that I have read are very excellent in quality. Um, I think it mostly depends on what kind of story that you like. So if you like the concept of the story they're telling you, I think you will enjoy the way they tell it. I think you will enjoy the level of complexness. I think you'll enjoy the level of the writing style. I think you will enjoy the characters and whatever is going on inside of it uh, or inside the story is going to be mostly based on your personal preference of what kind of story you like to, to read and what you like to um, discover in your stories. So I think the quality is a little bit more dependent on your likes or dislikes and if whether you like the story as a whole. All right, I think that's everything to kind of cover the comparison of these series. Let me know again if you have any thoughts or feelings about the different series that Margaret Rice and Tracy Hickman write. Uh, if you recommend any series that I haven't read, please let me know. I would love to check them out because this, uh, these two are one of my favorite authors and so I like anything that deals with them. I'd like to check it out and I'd of course like to hear your thoughts as well. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.